Beautiful Sagittarius, this is Tammy with Spot On Psychic Readings, and I'm coming in today with a really special and interesting reading with my brand new cards, um, The Serpent and The Peacock. And literally, you all are receiving the very first reading with these amazing cards. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. I've already shuffled them really well, but I want to go ahead and mix your energy into them a little bit, and we'll see. I was re really drawn to these cards because when I saw the pictures of them, it really reminded me of cards from like medieval times or back when cards were first invented. You know? And there we go. They're talking already. This is not usually how I pull cards, but let's see. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. These, these are new and I'm learning them and we'll see what happens. But anyway, they remind me of like Renaissance tarot cards or something. They're um, a tad bit spooky and they're very, very, cre you know, artistically creative. And um, yeah, so we'll see what happens here today. So one of the things I want to look at for you all, um, first of all, we have got the Seven of Swords that jumped out right away, um, Sag. So this is definitely... Um, some kind of a sneaky energy here that jumped out right away <laughs> while I was shuffling. But I want to go ahead and just pull a regular spread for you all the way I usually do as well, just by feel. So let's see what we get here, Sag, okay? One of the things I want to look into today also for you guys is there's a lot of chatter right now about what's coming this weekend in terms of potentially spiritual warfare. And that is one of the things I'm focusing on for Sagittarius in particular. Um, coming up this weekend, I want to look at this weekend in January. So let's just kind of get a view. I'm going to see what these cards have to say, and then as usual, I'll clarify. Um, We'll get more information here, okay. These cards are stiff <laughs> because they haven't um, been used before. Oh, lots of energy there. if there's anything else that wants to come out. Nope. So we're looking into this weekend, Sag. Um, okay, we're gonna start here and see what comes up. Now this deck is really interesting. It has two moon cards. It has two um, judgment cards with various meanings. And we'll just, like I said, we're just going to see what happens here. <laughs> okay, guys. This one did flip over, didn't it? Temperance. It did flip over reversed. Um, I was just going to do all upright, but I see that one really wanted to reverse so we'll go with that and um, these were just some extra additional stuff here um so i'll i'll ask i'll ask where this is going okay okay so sag the very first card that we've got up uh got coming up here is this eight of cups and again i'm looking into sagittarius but coming up um this particular weekend in particular with you guys okay so how is it going to affect Sagittarius specifically all right so when I look at this I've got eight of cups and there's something here where I feel like you're going to be walking away from something you know eight of cups is saying goodbye so there's something really significant going on with you guys right now Sag where you might just be walking away saying goodbye um I don't know. It's like something's missing. I just feel like, you know, when I look at these cups stacked up, it's like there's one missing and it's just this feeling of something's missing. I'm just going to, I've stayed in this situation too long. I'm going to move on. 
I'm just going to move on. So when we go over here to your conflict card, we've got the moon and the moon is in, like I said, there are two moon cards in this deck. This is the one with a little bit more negative meaning that can have some sadness, really high emotion. You can see this red sky, also like some sort of a red alert with this. And look at this. You know, I'm asking about astrological configurations for this weekend, and I'm really seeing it coming through. You know, like, what's that? <laughs> and the moon looks distressed. I feel like there's going to be some really high emotions and some things that um, are going to make you all kind of um, maybe feel on alert, if I'm honest, because this card looks alerting to me and it is in the conflict position. I feel like something is going to happen having to do with water and boats. You can see this boat um, here in the picture, kind of a darkness here and um, you know what, they, this looks like a sunrise to me. Of course, that's a moon card. But you know what they say is um, sky red at morning, sailors take warning. And that's, that's what's kind of coming to mind with this. So I don't know where the moon phase is going to be in the morning hours. But also, you know, there's this comet or asteroid flying over. There's something really going on. I was feeling it before I came in here. And this is really confirming quite a bit of it. So what we have kind of hanging over Sagittarius and in the foundation are these two cards. We've got the Eight of Swords where you feel like you, you might feel like you're in some sort of situation you'd like to get loose from, like um, maybe an oppressive situation or something that you felt like kind of tied down to. And I see this sort of just in your aura this weekend, okay? I know this... This weekend is going to bring up a lot of stuff that, uh, for a lot of people that hasn't been healed or things that we thought was healed and it's still there. Could also, with you guys being so intuitive, it could bring up things for you in either dreams or in visions or just your feelings. Because um, again, high emotion with this moon. Um, there's going to be something there doing a lot of releasing over this weekend. and. What I was getting ready to say is it may not all be your things to release, but you could be picking up past relationships, um, family situations. You could be, as an empath, picking up other people's emotions that need to be released. Um, I know I've had a lot of dreams this week already. I'm feeling this thing happening <laughs> already in advance, which is typical for people who are intuitive psychics empaths, you know, like a lot of you Sagittarius are. So you may already be feeling this, but just examine, does it really belong to you or does it belong to maybe whoever you had the dream about? And they're still trying to work something out with you on that astral level. Now, deeper down, we've got the seven of wands here. This partic In this particular deck, this card is represented by Archangel Michael. And this is Archangel Michael taking out a demon. Very interesting, isn't it? This is like all in your energy, being very protected by Archangel Michael. And there's some kind of oppressive situation that may be hanging over you that either you know about or you don't know about. It may be coming up this weekend, but there is angelic protection showing up here, okay? Um, traditional Seven of Wands is like perseverance. Keep going, you know, keep pushing ahead. You've got the advantage. You are being protected. Now, going into the past, this is a really deep card. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> this is the only card in the deck that really kind of creeps me out. But this, this is representing um, the story of Christ, where Christ was tempted three times by the devil, trying to get... Um, Jesus off his course, you know. Um, this is a card about temptation in this deck. And this is the card saying, you know, again, keep pushing ahead because you are going to have success. Don't let any dark energy throw you off your success, okay? And also this is success that's hard won. This is success that you've worked really hard for and you may be just be feeling really tired. 
but this is something that you may have sacrificed in order to get the success, okay? For some reason, this weekend, it's showing up like it's on the back burner because I get it in the past position. So you've already maybe gotten this or you may be putting it on the back burner for this weekend, okay? Now, coming up in your immediate future, and I would say this is going to this weekend and this card is going to be more next week, I feel like, um, with the timing that I'm giving this reading, okay? And this is the sun card. I've forgotten what the story is about this green lion. Some of you may know. I forgot. I read it last night, but um, it's already in one ear and out the other. I'm going to have to revisit that. But this is a sun card. It is a very happy card. It's a success card. And this is, um, this is like you shining your light in spite of anything else that's going on. This is you really, really um, radiating a lot of light, Sagittarius. And I know you guys do. So this is in your immediate future, probably um, this weekend or today when you read this. I mean, when you see this reading, okay? Further out next week, we've got this upside down temperance card. And of course this can represent Sagittarius. So I'm feeling like you guys might um, next week feel off balance about something. Um, you might feel like your flow of energy is off. And like I said, I was gonna read all of these upright. I set my intention to do that because it's a new deck and I just wanted to you know, be straightforward with it. But this did come up reverse. It very clearly did. So there's a reason for that for some of you um, going into next week. Watch your flow of energy because, again, this is the Sagittarius card. And for it to come up reversed in your reading, there's a reason for that. Isn't this pretty? I just, such a pretty, pretty card. I hope you guys are liking these. They're, they're very interesting, don't you think? <laughs> okay. So watch out for that, and we'll get some more clarification here in a second, okay? So when I go over to your energy, we've got this beautiful Six of Swords card, okay? So your energy is, I'm just going to go towards things that are very peaceful. I'm going to get my flow of energy back. I'm going over here. I'm going to move away either energetically, emotionally, or physically move away from any of this stormy turbulence. Anything that wasn't working for you, Sag, I see you moving away from it. And I see a really beautiful flow of energy um, coming up for you. And this is all like what, what you're exuding. And this is how people are seeing you. It's like, you know, there may be people um, saying, you know, Sagittarius just doesn't do things that don't work for them. You know, it's like they're just going to like move forward, move away from this turbulent situation. And maybe I should too. I feel like in some ways you're setting an example with this, okay? This could also represent stormy weather that you're observing and that sort of thing. So take it as it resonates, okay? Now, hopes and fears is Queen of Cups. And I know Sagittarius, we talked about this, this the last couple of readings. Sagittarius has been kind of fearful of opening up their heart centers again because you guys have gone through a lot of pain. You know, you've been through a lot of betrayals, a lot of you, um, a lot of heartaches. And this is in the hopes and fears position. So you're kind of hoping for, for love. You're kind of hoping to be in this Queen of Cups energy again. And at the same time, not so much. <laughs> at the same time, you kind of want to pull away from that. So you're not sure. You're really on the fence, Sag about opening your heart up and being nurturing to other people and taking on any sort of love relationship. You know, this Queen of Cups is all about emotions and heart energy and feelings and those sorts of things. And, you know, in previous readings, you all have shown up as the King and Queen of Swords. You know, we've just been logical and um, using your mind, you know, your mental energy. So you're on the fence about this. I can see that. Now, your final outcome for this weekend that we're looking at is Page of Wands, okay? And Page of Wands has to do with a message. I feel like you're going to be getting some sort of message of good news. Um, so I'm glad to hear that with this weekend, especially with this high emotion, this high, very emotional moon card that might be bringing up things from the past, okay? 
Now, they gave us some additional cards here when I pulled these, and usually what they're doing is just giving us um, some more details, additional meaning, and then I'm going to go clarify these, okay? So what I'm getting here is you are nurturing your money. I mean, especially this weekend, I see you like thinking like, how can I grow my money? And you can see like Mr. Potato Head here, he's like a farmer. He's got his shovel and he's like, you know, digging up the dirt. He's planting his money. He's planting seeds. He's planting things. He's growing money on these trees and bushes, okay? So I see a lot of focus here, uh, this Seven of Pentacles, with your money increasing you know you're doing something to grow your money and it's right beside of this judgment card this judgment card is um, the one that has to do with karmic situations okay there, there are two judgment cards this is the one about karma um, you can you can see how there, it's like you you're rising above Okay, this is like rising above your karmic situations and getting out of all of this mess down here, this mess of crazy karma and situations and almost this whole demonic scene where you're like rising out of it. This, this card is just crazy, okay? So this is an additional thing that they are showing me. And again, I'm asking about um, what I've heard about spiritual warfare. For this upcoming weekend this is one of the extra cards that they gave me okay so we'll look more into this this last card that came up is the five of swords i think this one's pretty self-explanatory <laughs> based on this picture um you know five of swords is very very negative energy especially in this deck and uh right beside of all this karma I'm just feeling like, and again, I'm asking about this weekend. I think there's going to be some really crazy energy, Sag, coming up this weekend. You may or may not actually see it. Um, you might. You might not. You know, I keep wondering, what's this in the sky? You know, it really catches my attention in this red, red sky. Something over water. And I'm just feeling like there's something that's going to happen this weekend and again it may be unseen it may be something that is an energy field a frequency uh, you may be feeling the effects of all the spiritual warfare that I'm seeing here um, but there's a lot of negative energy that I think is going to be expelled um, coming up this weekend so there it is not trying to be negative but I think sometimes uh, you know forewarned <laughs> is a good thing so um, let's do some clarification. Let's go over here. Let's clarify this moon card, first of all, okay? Let's see what we get on that, Sag. Why is the moon a conflict? Especially this weekend. Why is the moon a conflict? Something about a new beginning fiery fiery new beginning fiery new beginning hmm. a fiery person king of wands showing up right next to this fiery new beginning kind of new beginning queen of cups high emotion you know when queen of cups is reversed like that it's very high emotion And the Wheel of Fortune um, may be reversed. Hmm. Let's see what else, Sag. Could be something to do with money, money loss, um, worrying about money. This may be this high emotion. This does make me wonder if this some, is some sort of cosmic event that, um, I don't know, knocks out ATMs or something like that. I'm not sure. There's something weird about that. There's something really weird that keeps talking to me about that. Knight of Cups, so some kind of an offer. Now, for some of you, that's going to go to a personal kind of offer, an offer of love that you may feel like is not trustworthy for some of you. 
and a victory nonetheless. There's something about winning. So even after all this stuff happens, there's something about rising above it. Something about public acclaim. I feel like something is going to be in the news. This strikes me as media. This is striking me very much as media showing up. But like, look, we won. I, I, that's what I feel with this, having to do with this moon card. But look, we won. Yeah, here's the death card. Um, it did come up reversed. So again, we've got beginnings, new beginnings, maybe not new beginnings. Maybe there's reluctance for new beginnings. And hanging on to money. This has come up for Sag a lot of times recently in the conflict position and everywhere. Hold on to your money. Okay. So I would say um, prepare for this weekend. Maybe it's going to be a nothing burger, but I would still say prepare for this weekend because there's some weird frequency or weather event or uh, sky event. I don't know. There, there's something about the water, the sky. Yeah, there's something happening there. Let's we'll see if we can dig at this a little bit more, see what else comes up, okay? All right, so why is this weird energy all around Sag this weekend? You know, this is the card of wanting to get released from some oppressive situation and being protected by Archangel Michael. Let's see what this is about, Sag. What does Sag need to know about this? What is that all about? Oh, Ace of Swords. Okay, clarifying by Ace of Swords. So there is more peace coming in. There's something about cutting out things that don't work. Something is going to, a chain is going to be broken. See the chain here? Something about being released from whatever that negative energy is. And also, this is like the dove from the heavens. This is like the dove of peace. And I feel like there is peace coming in after this release. And um, again, this connection with Archangel Michael, you guys. Some kind of whole new path. And working hard. There's something about either being released from a job or maybe you're going to quit doing a job that you felt chained to so that you can do your own job. Shown in this Ace of Pentacles, I mean Eight of Pentacles, I'm sorry. Like your own um, business, you know, self-employment or your own creativity. Maybe you're in your own creative space where you can just paint and draw and write and just super be creative, you know, super creative. Um, it's very angelically inspired. And they're saying, don't give up too soon here. You know, this is the card of perseverance. So you're going to get something that's better. Here's the cloud of the silver lining. So whatever happens with this energy around you, there's a cloud of the silver lining. Remember when I was shuffling, um, the seven of swords jumped out. And this is the sneaky energy. Why? Let's ask, why did that jump out? What's that about? <clears throat> Why did that jump out? Some kind of new opportunities might be opportunities you shouldn't trust. There it is again, Ace of Swords. So it's something about breaking free. So whatever this was, if you felt like something was being taken from you or you were being um, bothered by a sneaky person or whatever, there's a cloud of the silver lining coming out of that. Let me switch back over to this deck and let's just see, let's ask, let's ask clarification with that. These cards are a little bit big <laughs> to shuffle. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving but dependable energy, clarifying the sneaky, sneaky energy. 
well, for one thing, what I'm getting is this, whatever this energy is about this sneaky energy, it sees you, Sag, as this Knight of Pentacles energy. So it's seeing you as something that's very, you know, somebody who's very trustworthy, that I feel like somebody's trying to kind of ride your coattails a little bit. It's like, oh, I'll just, you know, latch on to Sag, like, you know, they'll pay for it. <laughs> They're generous. They'll pay for it. Don't worry. Yeah. And I feel like this is somebody who betrayed you. I think they're saying this is what happened. Because again, this card flew out. And, you know, when I was first shuffling for you, Sad, about what might be happening this weekend. Okay. And I got this sneaky, um, sneaky cat energy, this seven of swords. And it's saying this, this energy, this sneaky energy that might have stolen money from you it latched onto you because you were the knight of pentacles you're this very dependable energy you know always paying the bills always being generous you know just doing your own thing very happy you know loving nature loving animals just you know whatever just doing your thing being very trusting and then you got betrayed by that so this is the card of sadness and betrayal this energy, because again, let me go back because I'm t asking about this weekend. Um, this energy very much is going to follow you into this weekend. I hope you can see this. Something's going to come up. There's going to be some kind of release of that energy. There's some something that's going to be really releasing, turning loose. Now, when things release and get turned loose, sometimes they get kicked up. And, you know, the energy can just be really, um, you know, hard. The energy can be really uncomfortable. It could kick up all this feelings of betrayal. You know, look at this. The sad moon card, high emotion, and that betrayal. I feel like something is, you know, coming up about that. So watch out for that this weekend. Let's ask about this. Why is this? This is normally a success card. And again, in this deck, it is a card of success through some sort of sacrifice that you've made. And to clarify that, we've got the hanged man. Yeah, you may have really put yourself on hold about other things that you want. Um, yeah, done a lot of trade-offs to get that sort of energy. There's something there about that, tempt whatever the temptation, if there was some kind of temptation there or some kind of attachment, um, it's moving into the past. <laughs> I haven't learned how to shuffle these cards very well yet, sorry. Yeah, look at that, devil energy. So this is going into your past. So whatever was sort of trying to attach itself to your success, it may have had you sort of suspended as well. Um, something that was creating, you know, a dark energy or something like that is moving into the past. And here's the thing. Um, this is... This is coming up this weekend. And again, this is kind of what I keep hearing about this weekend. You can see the image on this card. At least I hope you can. Let me make sure you can. Yeah. This is sliding, isn't it? <laughs> so what I'm seeing here is this is really, um, I don't know. This is something that I feel like is going into the past, but this weekend, okay? Okay, so let's move on and let's clarify um, the happiness and this is the futuristic part of this weekend, okay? So we've got really happy weekend. Looks like Sag is gonna be very happy, really shining your light. And then later on next week, it looks like Sagittarius turns upside down next week and is feeling maybe a blockage of flow of creativity or a blockage in your fire energy, something like that. Let's see, Sag.
Here we've got the Ten of Swords. Wow. Hmm. What's that about? Yeah, Ten of Swords can be some kind of thing feeling stabbed in the back, some kind of bad ending of some sort. Coming up again, kind of looking into next week. Here's Queen of Swords. Yeah, Queen of Swords is not going to... Um, Queen of Swords is really not going to put up with this Ten of Swords thing. So whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever this is, Sag, you're back to your Queen of Swords self um, next week. And this may be why there's a blockage in a flow of energy. Because maybe you're... Yeah, okay, now they're telling me what it is, Sag. So all this releasing that I'm seeing coming up this weekend with this high emotion, this high moon energy and everything, um, I feel like it's going to bring up this bad ending where you were betrayed, okay? You were very trusting, you were betrayed. There was a bad ending. And I feel like it's coming up. And this is you going, I, I'm blocking my feelings. So just know... You may, you may want to avoid this. You probably don't really want to block your creativity and your feelings, but I can see how that could happen. And this won't be upside down for everybody, but it was pretty clearly upside down. And I think you're just coming back into your Queen of Swords energy where you could just, you know, you guys are very intelligent and you're like, I'm just going to focus. I'm going to do my thing. I'm not getting my heart broken again. That's what I'm feeling because I think whatever this energy come in this weekend is, I think it's going to kick up a lot of crazy emotions and negativity and potentially um, really dark energy like we're seeing here. I mean, I hate to say it, I'm, you know, I'm, if you've been here before, you know I'm not a negative psychic at all. But I, I do have some concerns about this weekend, so that's why I wanted to look into this. So let's look at this. Um, why are people seeing you as moving away from negative energy or moving away from a turbulent thing this weekend? Maybe you're just pulling away from it. Maybe you're going someplace peaceful. Um, let's see what we got here. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. That's good. You know, your luck is turning around, Sag. I mean, we've seen this for a few months now. It is definitely turning around. So you're probably moving away from some kind of turbulent situation. And other people are seeing you like that. And they're seeing you as very fortunate. Oh, they're seeing you as very fortunate that you're able to get away from that situation. Oh. Let's go over here. Let's ask about this message. Let's ask about the message. What kind of good message of good news is coming this week? A lot of stuff's going to be stirred up, um, Sag. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing this reading. Yep, this is going to be stirred up. Whoever betrayed you might be sending a message. It might be stirring that person up enough that they contact you. Now, I don't know why that's a good message unless it's an apology. And you may or may not want that. Let's see, Sash. Whoops. Really stiff cards because they're new. <laughs> Thanks for helping me break them in, Sash. Um, this one is saying, pull me. Ace of Wands. Okay, so whoever this is from the past that I feel like um, caused you a heartache and a betrayal of some sort, I feel like they're sending a message going, hey, Sag, you want to get uh, a new beginning? You want to have a new beginning? You want to, like, try again? <laughs> yeah, that's probably a big fat no, but anyway. We have got the Two of Cups here. Yep, somebody wants to reconcile, Sag. And we've got Five of Pentacles. And we've got the World card. So I feel like this person is like, um, they're having a hard time with money. They'd like to reconcile with you because you're showing up as the Knight of Pentacles and you've moved away from all this 
turmoil and you've got your nine of wands going on you're all happy you got your wheel of fortune they're like hey how about a new beginning Sag you know we could we could have the world together <laughs> but this is also having to do with um, you know spiritual growth for one thing spiritual expansion so um, you've outgrown this person for sure I feel like you've expanded to the point you couldn't get back to th with this person if you tried but anyway, there it is. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying, there it is. I can't keep them from showing up in the cards. All right, let's clarify these last three. Let's clarify this judgment card that looks so ominous. And also five of swords. You know, this one's pretty self-explanatory. But let's clarify judgment and five of swords. The extra cards they gave us, okay? Okay. What else do we need to know from these cards? <clears throat> I do wish they were just a tad shorter because they are hard to, for me to hold on to. Okay, um, three pinnacles. Three pinnacles, new opportunities. Some kind of new project or new, how's that fitting in with judgment? Let's see, how's that fitting in with judgment? That one really wants to come out. There's a queen of wands, new projects, queen of wands, fire energy. Look at her dragon, fire energy. And again, judgment can be major life changes, but this particular deck, this this judgment card, um, is all about karma. So I feel like for some of you, you have done your karma. You know, I feel like there's going to be like new beginnings, new opportunities, things like that, because you've already done your karma. You've risen above this. And, you know, Queen of Wands can very much be a Sagittarius energy. So um, these are stuck. So I feel like this is representing you, Sag, and you're rising above whatever this karmic, karmic situation is that looks like it might get kind of stirred up this weekend because of astrology, okay? Here's the star. So this is having to do with you being a star for one thing. Yeah, this is you rising above. You know, this is all kinds of hope and happiness and success. Um, this is, you know, here we've got the moon, we had the world card, wherever it went, and we've got uh, the star. And this came up in the last reading I did for you, time before last, I think it was, where world events were showing up. You know, the star, the moon, the stars, the moon, the world, the universe, everything. I feel like everything's getting really kicked up, having to do with this card, this judgment and karmic kind of card. You know, I mean, this could literally be fifth dimension opening up big time. I mean, it's already started to open up, and I know a lot of you are feeling it. I certainly am. And here we've got the um, Eight of Wands. So something's happening really quickly. And also, this is the Dove of Peace. Okay, this is... Um, a lot of peace coming in for you, Satch. In this particular deck, this really represents peace, and it, it represents things happening quickly, you know, success, happiness, things like that. Um, let's see if there's anything else here, Satch. I have no idea how long I've been doing this reading for, <laughs> how long this is. Um, I just thought I'd sit down and do this, you know. It was... I got these cards last night and I'm like, I was eager to try them. And then I've been hearing all the stuff about, um, you know, the next few days, Saturday, I think. So we'll see. What else? Anything else for Sag on this? The 
see. And here's Queen of Pentacles. Okay, it's stuck to uh, this Nine of Cups, though. So these came up together. So, Sag, I feel like what has happened here is your karma has turned around. You've risen above some kind of really karmic situation with a karma, uh, with a karmic who wants to come back in and reconcile. Um, you heard the sarcasm in my voice there, right? <laughs> And then I, then what I'm seeing with you is financial stability and you being very much in charge of your life and having a lot of security and stability and getting your wish. So here's the wish card as well. And in this particular card, look at this, there's the sun, which showed up over here, all around you, Sag. So whatever is happening, I think it's going to, here's my conclusion on this um, from looking into this. I feel like what is happening here is um, a lot of energy is going to get kicked up from the past. A lot of past karmic energy and stuff is coming through because of stars, moon, planets, all that kind of thing coming in. Now, I am not an astrologer. I've always, I've told you guys that before. I am not an astrologer. Okay, I'm a psychic medium and a card reader. So I leave all the details of astrology up to the astrologers. But here's what I'm seeing. The stars, the moon, and the world. And these cards, this gives me the goosebumps, you guys. These cards came up reading before last when I just did the spread like this, you know, um, cards only. And here they are again, guys. Something is going on um, on a big, big scale. <laughs> okay. So I can't wait to hear you guys weigh in on what this might entail. You know, feel free to weigh in astrologically if you... Um, are big into astrology. It would be fun to hear it from that angle, too. It's interesting all these years, you know, I've read like this and it always does align with astrology. You know, when I go back and sometimes we'll see it somewhere, you know, some things happening. I'm, I'm like, oh, that explains a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed this reading. I hope this um, was insightful for you and hang on tight this weekend. Do protect yourself with Archangel Michael. Be prepared spiritually. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.